Completing a chimps game with just two towers placed down will grant you the 2TC achievement. Today we're going to be doing this with the Glaive Lord and the Master Bomber. Now this should be a pretty straightforward one to understand. We've got a ceramic killer and then we've got a Moab killer. But this ceramic killer is also in some ways a Moab killer. Just not the... Um, the big bad in update 43 both of these towers have had their base prices changed and when i say changed i mean they've been decreased which is good which means their accessibility in chimps is just a tad bit easier in order to put them down red hot rains is needed for the ddts by the way in any 2tc scenario if you can change your towers is attack type from whatever it was so let's say the boomerang from sharp to normal with red hot rains then do so don't pursue the um the wackier path just because it looks cooler with the higher attack speed you need to be able to cover all of your weaknesses if you can just like with master bomber his explosives can pop ddts while we can fire our bombs faster with the top path we need the middle path in order to decamify said towers so that they're now uh, um our Glaive Lord can attack it without, uh, well, outside of this Orbiting Glaze attack. In our previous video on the channel at this given point in time, when I put up the video, um, I did do another Boomerang associated 2TC, but unlike that one, which is a middle path Boomerang, the top path one actually has a lot of pierce in which we can work with. Uh, turbo charge, you are so ass. <laughs> but saying that, the top path is ass when it comes to being able to handle with the Moa Clospins, and honestly, it's the least effective one, but, um, but what we need for it today is pretty nice. In the next video after this one, we're going to encounter another 2TC scenario, but it's one in which we've tried already, but I failed on that particular venture, but I've gone back and given it a retry, and uh, let's just say that I've dramatically improved and be able to know what I need to do in order to make that particular combination work. Hint, 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 X, 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 L trap. Round 38 going well, very well, sorry, just be ceramics left to finish off. Now round 39, we should have more glaives for round 40, but it's mainly the sticky bomb, which we desperately needed. Well, that first mark, then the second one, and you know what comes after that. Okay, round 40, Sticky Bomb is going off, and we have cleared up those with no issues whatsoever. Yeah, Perma Charge Ultra Boost was quite the emotional roller coaster, let's just say that. <laughs> Looking back up on it now, I should not have been as, like, overzealous with my emotions as i did but honestly at just at that given point in time in the moment i really hate turbocharge honestly it's not one of those towers i would love to go back to and try again or at the very least if i'm gonna have turbocharge i'm gonna have another tower alongside it that can actually do something rather than having an over oh i have cleansing foam at that given point in time not recommend it. What's going to be very interesting about the um, the counter espionage is that I honestly think it's one of the worst decamo features you can have within the game. Like even ice towers, like the embrittlement is better if you're on this map. But I'd say in all general purposes, counter espionage is just slightly more accessible than a embrittlement when it comes to decamo fine a balloon. But I'd say the cleansing foam is definitely up there now when it comes to how to decamify a balloon and very effectively. But I feel still think though that the best two kinds of decamifying is submersion support and shimmer. Like with other decamifying means, they do have a pierce cap with them, so they have a decamifying pierce cap. So like if you have a certain number of camo balloons within your radius, then if you exceed that pierce cap, then some of them that will enter their radius will still have the camo status on them. But unlike other forms where you have to constantly micromanage, the shimmer and the submersion support are just far more reliable means of decamifying balloons. But just in general, just having a radar scanner down just means that you can um, decamify balloons. And in some cases, 
you want a balloon to be camified so that certain towers can do bonus damage against them. So the middle path sniper, the middle path ace. I think those are the only two I can think of at the top of my head where if they have the camo effect, or sorry, the camo stays on them, then they do bonus damage against them. Also, Glaive Lord, I've just, I've, I've literally forgot about that because of like how easy this scenario is so far. But, oh, there's a little bit of lag there. But I would say that round 95 could still pose a little bit of a challenge. Like, obviously, anything that enters the, uh, the radius of the... Uh, uh, orbiting glaze like in the gaps that you shredded whether they have a camo status or not but it's many of the dts which are going to be a bit of a worry so we're going to have camo prioritization on because of that just so we don't forget about it later on bfb taken care of yeah this particular 2tc was recommended to me by someone in the comments sections of my perma charles ultra boost video and honestly looking about thinking yeah i need something just a little bit easier just to um take the hairs off of my head when well the standing up ones at the very least because i don't want to do that kind of micromanaging with a boomerang in quite some time i mean we've got base mortar to make a pops coming up once we reach 10,000 subscribers on our channel so if you want to uh, stay tuned for that absolute torture and pain then please consider subscribing to the channel <laughs> and no don't feel bad for me because of that uh, challenge i put that upon myself and i will do whatever it takes in order to get to that goal hopefully not absolutely anything though i do have some limitations i will not perform dark magic in real life just so i can get a particular achievement within a game using a stupid tower in order to get to that point we've done it with shell shock we've done it with heavy shells but let's just do it with neither of the tier 3 upgrades what's really interesting about the glaive lord is that it's been given a little bit of a buff in this update in update 43 where it can attack the same target again with its main attack. So if the default attack is still attacking other balloons, it can bounce back and um, hit the same target that it previously did, if it survives, that is. Do you have a ceramic issue? Well, here is our solution. Do we have a Moab issue? Here is our solution. Do we have hordes of Moabs, like smaller class ones that we need dealing with? Well. The same ceramic solution is also that solution, if you get what I mean. Round 75 going very well here, just this last group of BFBs to deal with, and round 76, no chance whatsoever. We have enough pierce with the orbiting glaives and the default attack of the glaive lord here, so that we can quite comfortably just set this to strong so that it only targets the strongest most balloons on the screen, and the smaller class moas will just be shredded up by the glaive lord. I think that's a pretty solid strategy. Get the bigger targets done and out of the way, hopefully, while they're not within the range of a Glaive Lord, and then the Glaive Lord can just shred those up. Am I being bizarre here? I don't think so. Here are the rest of the threats of round 78, and as you can tell, we dealt with them. Round 79, I have a Glaive Lord. <laughs> that's my solution, and that's my strategy for round 79. Do I need to explain any further? Well, some of you probably do, but let's just say this thing has a incredibly high amount of PS and a lot of damage per attack. It's just a shame that it's lost its bonus damage against ceramic or fortified balloons. Can't quite remember now, but it's definitely lost one of those benefits um, earlier on in the year of 2024. And there goes the CMG on round 80. And now we've got round 81 here. Just keep chucking those sticky bombs on the balloons there, Master Bomber. Gonna say you are a terrifying creature. You're no longer a monkey except with that tail. You're just, a, you're just by the name of creature. Nothing else, nothing more. It's more like an Oni than anything else. Rather than, I don't know, a terrorist. <laughs> Oh dear. Round 83, just stick those bombs to the Moabs, thank you very much. We don't need to worry about super fortified ceramics. If we didn't know, past round 80, all ceramics are now considered super ceramics because they take 
much more damage in order to crack that ceramic layer. And also, there isn't a big population that grows out of them as well, which is one benefit, but also a drawback is the fact that you don't make as much money because there are fewer children balloons which are spawning out. Round 85, two ZMGs, no longer an issue. Like, we could have this at first so that the, uh, the sticky bombs always target the frontmost ones, but I prefer just targeting the strongest ones, honestly. There's no risk in that. What's on resort? Because the bomb's just thrown in a straight line, sometimes on really curvy maps, it can miss a Moab if it's fast enough because the bomb itself is thrown in a sort of straight line and it could miss the target entirely. So having a map like Resort, well, the bombs can't really miss. Although at times, like a, if a DDT is traveling towards the left on the bottom hand side of the map here, the, uh, the sticky bomb is better thrown at the DDTs can miss them entirely, which is a big problem. Yeah, these fortified mobs have no chance. Okay, round 90, what have we got for this round? A stick. They all just died. One stick second stick there's no more target to stick player balloons 2024 a huge lot of fortifying maps honestly round 92 is one of the most threatening rounds in a chimps game i feel just because of the amount of health per target and the fact they're all fortified as well which is a big pain to sometimes deal with but not with this particular combination no sorry oh dts go away Round 95 is definitely going to be very interesting, though, because can we decamify all of them? Or we're going to have to deal with certain threats, which is a little annoying. Round 94, just target the ZMGs, please. Your single target damage is incredible, but it's getting that single target damage to be fully utilized. Now, that is the next question. Round 94 goes down like that. Round 95, thanks to the orbiting glaives, we have absolutely nothing to worry about in this portion of the round here. But the second portion, definitely going to be very interesting here. So, hmm, very interesting indeed. Can we do this? Can we do this? Looking very... That is promising. That is definitely promising. <laughs> okay, round 99. That's definitely going to be our next challenge here. Round 98. Please. Please. I'm calling round 98 a non-threatening round. <laughs> like, there are certain instances where it could just be round 100. That is the most menacing aspect. Like, I tried a Superstorm Etienne TTC once in my spare time. It's like... Etienne just doesn't do the damage against the bad required. Like, you could have the permanent UCAV ability active at the very beginning of a round. You just don't get the damage required for that single target damage. And you can't utilize the Superstorm's greatest strength, which is its uh, stalling capabilities to your advantage. Because it doesn't work on the bad. Round 98. What can we do against all this? Everything. What does it cost me as a balloon? It costed me everything. Everything and anything that I could possibly possess has been removed from my ability to live. Round 99. Okay. Fortify DDTs. What can we do against them? Ooh. That was a little interesting there, but not interesting enough to say. But so this is what we can call a black border guide to resort. Just place down a glaive lord and a master bomber and you have yourself a game set and match. Thank you ever thank you ever so much everybody for watching the video. Sorry for the stuttering there. But yeah, that is one of the easiest 2TC combos that you could possibly pull off. What other combos would you say is really easy? Well, the Glaive Lord and the Mad is another really easy combo to pull off. Spear for Forest and Mad. Like if you have two towers which do different things so if you have one which is very good against the masses another one that is pretty against single target damage and they both have some means of being able to target or one of them be able to decamify camera balloons you've got yourself a really easy setup there pod and the mad that's also another good combination 
as long as the MOA class balloons are popped inside the radius of the Prince of Darkness. <laughs> that is, otherwise it's just not going to be able to have a graveyard. Thank you all so much for watching. Perhaps that's going to be like a video I could do in the future or something like that. You know, like ranking every single 2TC I've done from hardest to easiest. Yeah, Ultra Boost and Crossbow Master is definitely up there for being the hardest ones <laughs> for me personally. And also Perma Charge and Ultra Boost just because of the mid 50s. Thank you all so much for watching. Please ensure that you use my creator support code whenever you're buying anything from the store itself. You see the store, you want to get yourself a Mr. Beast Awesome pack, you can do that. You want to get yourself some knowledge points because you're lacking some knowledge points in order to uh, get that wonderful, wonderful uh, free Dark Mowing Kit at the beginning of every single game outside of Chimps. Do you want that? You want some knowledge points? Well, you know where to get them, and that is not in achievements. Actually, in some ways, you can get some knowledge points from achievements, but by playing the game, leveling up, or if you want some moolah, if you want some double cash mode, if you find it too difficult in outside chimps, uh, want some instas. Sometimes there's even tier 5 insta monkey packs. Also, very soon it's going to be Balloons Tower Defense 6's birthday, so ensure you're looking out for future stuff on the Ninja Kiwi Reddit of Balloons Tower Defense 6. Thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Hope you all have an absolutely lovely day wherever you are. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can uh, see future videos. And uh, like I said, you don't want to miss out on the fun when it happens. If it happens. I may have second thoughts about that. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, everyone.